cupboards and there are all the do's, you know, what most of the do's. Most of the do's um, why, when you're visiting the forest. Uh, now let's come to the more important part, uh, which is the don'ts. So we often uh, hear people saying, don't do this, don't take this along, don't, uh, you know, behave in certain manner, don't wear this. So let us understand for wildlife and forests, what could be the don'ts? Actually, as I said, keeping due respect to our fellow countrymen about uh, uh, tourism, the least of don'ts is like Maruti the Sheput. Yes, yeah. The don'ts list of the the list of don'ts is endless actually for tourists. But as I say, we will cover a few uh, important aspects of it and the don't list keep on involving yeah, the evolving yeah. all the time. Uh, so uh, starting uh, uh, with uh, the, I think we should start with the social media yeah. first. That so so don't go by social media. What social media say about some forest? Are paint la the walk this is the Are Tadova Madina Nusta say Hawaii Tadova Maja Zue. So don't go. Another Amita Bigon like a I'm all famous with this line. Because now the like. So there are hundred places. Another Kajiranga na Kajiranga la nustad now hai. Genda panna isla, hatti panna isla. So social media or the another titla then the food was not great. This place, this place was useless. This place, this place was bad. Don't first thing about wildlife is wild. Nobody can cover. Exactly nature. Nature is the just the way the way it is. You you and we can't control nature. So why when it is wildlife tourism, don't make your opinion about the place, about the forest, about the people over there, about the amenities or specifications over there, just by social media. Correct. That is the first thing. Another aspect of is that doesn't mean don't refer social media. Do refer, but it is to don't make the picture, the picture may be totally different over there. Kahi klokan da asas halela hai ki pench madhe, ki maa kaana madhe vaak disat nahi, ani kahi klokan na gelega lai jangla vaak disat nahi. Yata arda asa pan nahi ki tumala pan disat. So, first, don't is, don't go by social media. Don't make an opinion. Don't make an opinion. Be open to whatever comes to your way and then analyze by your experiences. That is first don't. Correct. So we come to the next don't. So what are the travel don'ts? I mean, what comes under the travel related uh, don'ts? The, the travel re in travel related don'ts is most importantly, don't forget that you are in forest. Yeah. You are not in Goa or you are not gone there to have gala time. Okay. You are you will be having best gala time of your life only if you don't forget where you are visiting mm -hmm. you are visiting in nature so don't do anything which will disturb the peace like don't speak loudly in the anywhere in the forest mm -hmm. that that is applicable even for me but it's my profession uh, which is the civil engineering and i have to speak um, uh, over the top of the all machinery is going on inside and that unfortunately happens to me all over the time but most of the time when you are in forest don't forget that you are a not just a visitor you are part of forest have you ever heard in forest that somebody is shouting without any purpose in nature Nothing happens without any purpose. Right. See, a tiger don't roar without any purpose. Means, if he, if it roars, the entire forest will know that is there is forest and nobody his prey won't be there. Like monkey and deer, they make noise only when they see danger. All the other, as a good lady, as a good as a good lady, as a so then why you become that? You are don't the 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 the
the guides and drivers are the only your companion and they, those are poor people they are there because they know you are going to pay them and then te tumhala sangtat pan bareche lok guide cha ani driver cha suggestion kade durlaksha karta don't do that please don't disobey the forest guides and uh, yeah. driver if you listen to this one very basic thing then yeah. also yeah. you will cut down many of the issues then uh, like uh, don't so madhe uh, traveling madhe uh, while going uh, very basic thing and i don't blame because in our city life to apan gharatna bahar nirna sagle jana perfume kiwa डिओ मारून निघतो जंगलामध्ये असल्या कुठल्याही गोष्टी करू नका दोन कारण एक जंगलामध्ये तुम्ही जर गेलात तर राईट फ्रॉम किलचा वास येतो ज्याच्यावर तुम्हाला टायगर किंवा प्रिडेटर अॅनिमल जस्ट करता येतं इथपासून ते जंगलामध्ये प्रत्येक सीझन मध्ये देअर इज डिफरंट फ्रॅगमेंट ऑफ क्रीपर्स फ्लॉवर्स ग्रास तुळशीच जंगली तुळस म्हणून एक एक झाड येतं अर्ली मान्सून मध्ये त्याला त्याच्या पानांना जर तुम्ही कुस्करलं किंवा टच केला तर इट इट ओज अ फ्रॅगनन्स इतक्या छान छान गोष्टी असतात म्हणजे जोपर्यंत तुमची जिप्सी त्या त्याच्या टायरवरनं जात नाही त्याच्या टायर त्याच्यावरनं जोपर्यंत त्याचा वास येत नाही आणि सडनली द एन्टायर फॉरेस्ट बिहाइंड यू बिकम्स फ्रॅगनन्स विथ दॅट जंगली तुळस हे मी जेव्हा त्याला सांगितलं अरे आत्तापर्यंत ते वास नव्हता आपल्या शेजारनं एक गाडी केली त्यानंतर कसा एवढा छान वास तो म्हणला सर जसं त्या जिप्सीच्या चाकाखाली दोज लिव्ह आर गेटिंग क्रश देन द फ्रॅगनन्स दे ओझेस सो पण जर मी फसभ स्वतःच्या अंगावर डिओ मारला असेल तर मला कुठलाच वास येणार नाही हा झाला म्हणजे यासाठी मारू नका डिओ हा किंवा सेंट हा एक पार्ट दुसरं देर आर हनिबीज विच मे गेट डिस्ट्रॅक्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ युअर फ्रॅगनन्स अँड दे मे गेट डिस्टर्ब आणि हनिबीज च नावात हनी असलं तरी ते डिस्टर्ब झाल्यावर त्यातला हनी निघून जातो मग तर बीस टिंग राहते त्यातलं सो यू विल बी द व्यक्ती तर या सगळ्या गोष्टींसाठी डोन्ट्स मध्ये बेसिकली हे आणि हे सगळं तुम्हाला तुमच्या ड्रायव्हर आणि गाईड सांगतात तरी लोक म्हणतात की मला सवय आहे मला डिओशी राहू ते देखते अरे पण ती शहरातली गरज आहे आपण जंगलामध्ये आलेलो आहे जंगलामध्ये आपण जंगलाच्या नियमाने राहायला पाहिजे सो डोंट डू एनिथिंग विच विल डिस्टर्ब द फॉरेस्ट अराउंड यू दॅट इज इम्पॉर्टंट सो वन मोर पॉइंट आय वुड लाईक टू ऍड दॅट there are a lot of small children who are in the gypsies like really small like 2 and 3 years of age or even babies who end up shouting loudly or crying because it's not not, not their fault but they are also exposed to this weather they are very irritable in this so preferably if this is your this thing then it's not the right age to get them to the forest because you disturb the harmony so it's better to wait for a couple of years till the child understands and then to take him along rather than you know disturb the entire yeah, uh, yeah. preferably 6 years and above is the yeah. age where you can should take your car i think i would say 8 yeah. years because yeah. they do remember later on exactly. whatever six happens 6 to 8 years above that only the kids should be get uh, if if possible i understand yeah. every time it is not possible Correct. but yeah Correct. so this was the travel related don'ts the next is uh, about posting on social media yeah. so Uh, see in forest there are many things which happens which are beyond your control i have seen there has been many misconceptions created because of the uh, wrong postings and uh, if you are posting a particular photograph see a photograph or a video many a times things happen they are at certain spur of moment mm-hmm. and that is not a reality like recently one tourist posted uh, a video of a tigress in tadoba which was shown uh, getting out a uh, bisleri water bottle and carrying it in her mouth okay and that video has made a ruckus uh, on internet fine the photographer must have got popularity but unfortunately the picture was portrayed that look wildlife tourism is creating so many garbage in the forest and all those things right. it was not a scene it was not a scene the actual story was when the the tigress was from tadoba it happened in tadoba buffer where but the place is ramdegi where there is a temple and where local people visit that temple it, it is, is not part of it is not part of just wildlife tourism but local people have open access to that place and some tourist some some pilgrimer or villager might have thrown that bottle in the uh, 
water body near that uh, Ramdeki temple, mm -hmm. where from where the tigress by curiosity, and that again she was not an adult tigress, she was a cub, and cubs are uh, more curious about everything. Mm -hmm. So she must have lifted it in her mouth, which again is a wrong thing. I agree that, but entire picture was created like wildlife tourism is harassing the wildlife. See, this must have thrown by some wildlife tourist and uh, the guy, uh, the, the, the tiger uh, unnecessary bichara uh, is getting uh, uh, disturbed because of use of, because of carrying that uh, plastic bottle. So, in wildlife tourism, if you uh, see something or click something, write clearly what has happened at that time. So, there were at least maybe those who are watching that photograph when they read the story behind that photograph or that video, they will understand what has happened actually. Many a times, recently Hemangi has posted a video about a uh, tigress walking uh, and uh, the 8-10 yeah. gypsies walking behind that uh, no, tigress keeping, no, 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 keeping good distance. Yeah. See, the first instant of, Are, bichari la kiti trasa hai, oda gaade tijam aage salta hai. Try to understand, no wildlife animal behaves as per your wish, it behaves as per his or her wish or its wish. The tigers many a time, specifically speaking about tigers, many a times it happens that tiger, uh, you see that they are uh, surrounded by so many vehicles. The tiger which are born in that scenario, they are used to those kind of gypsies Correct. and they just don't bother about that kind of thing. But if you write it down very clearly and understand, then it won't happen. Then again, there was a fight between two animals, uh, two deer. And uh, I have listened uh, or I have heard or heard this uh, uh, conversation from the adjoining music. Are they don't want to get a sword and a mother? Even if you saw a tiger killing a deer, I agree it's a, it's a, uh, nature, it, it, it's a sad scene and yeah. it's a, uh, we may feel pity for that poor animal which is losing life. But don't shout and don't try to shoo away that tiger from that uh, the thing and don't post it on how this is happening and how you did it. Uh, see, in, in you are just an observer of a nature. You should not interpret your own ways and this is this should not happen in your postings also. Okay. If you saw something which is abnormal, try to understand first what is happening and then post it. Don't give a tourist near Tiger Rasta cross Kurdani. See Kutlahi Tiger Tumcha Marjini Rasta cross Kurdani to Tachas Marjini Rasta cross Kurdani. Mm -hmm. And this is not about just the tiger, this is about every animal it is happening. Just see that ki when you click something, when you shoot something and follow the rules of posting, give clarity, give clear mm -hmm. idea and don't make an opinion or don't be judgmental on social media while you post. Right. Is what I will advise. And most importantly, don't try to show that, don't try to show off on social media. And just because you want a great shot, don't go overboard. Uh, to get a great shot if you are a photographer. Many people try to uh, force drivers and uh, that uh, guide to uh, get their vehicle in such an angle where they can get a selfie with the wild animal or a particular habitat or a tiger or an elephant. Don't do that. See, to me, to Vaga so much selfie get lane to me, I great banner near and Vaga is a girl's name. So, these kind of thing, see, you are visiting forest to enjoy the forest, to understand the nature and not to boost your image on social media. Social media is a good place to share what is what you enjoyed really. Use social media sensibly when it is a wildlife tourism and don't you, uh, go to wildlife just for social media is what I will advise. Okay. So we come to the last point here. So regarding the hotels what are the don'ts like people who are selecting the hotels also uh, when they book safaris uh, they have certain kind of expectations so what are the basic ones that we should be keeping see uh, in the first part which we were discussed about the places most of the wildlife prison places are far away or cut off from the uh, uh, yeah. urbanization or civic facilities so don't expect extraordinary five-star treatment at these kind of hotels. That doesn't mean you have been thrown in some dungan or jail or something like that. 
but what i'm what i'm what i what it what are what you should not expect is extraordinary service at most of these places is not possible because of two factors first these places are cut off from many of the basic essential services like now you are getting in kana or at bandogar some normal vegetables 20 years back when we used to visit kana there were either alu and bacon that's it okay. most of the hotels don't have got the, 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 the green vegetables also okay. so the, the, when i asked the, the, that hotel guy are yaar tisre din menu mein bola aaye truck hi nahi aaya tarkari ka so these kind of things we should not expect another thing is that don't fight or don't abuse the uh, staff at these hotels because they are not trained the way you are used to in your goa or uh, dubai mm. or singapore or chandigarh or delhi places those most of those by their local people they don't understand language which is spoken native even hindi differs from your hindi specifically puneri hindi and then be specific in putting down your uh, requirements from them these are the things we should follow in these hotels premises and all those things and most important aspect is don't ask for the things which are not in their control many a times i have uh, observed not about only with the hotel people are kya yaar tumne to bola tha ki safari ka booking kar dunga lekin tumne kiya hi nahi see those people will try to provide you whatever best they can but the things which are not in their control because first their resources are very minimal and then there are incapability because of the laws and because of the things over there so understand their limitations rather try to see that how you can be be a good guest to them so they will serve you in your more better capacity right. like uh, many times at many hotels in the rooms there are no the network Uh, because uh, the towers, uh, mobile towers are not there at many wildlife places. So instead of fighting, ki why? Our room has no Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi. Instead of doing that, take it, take it a bit slow. See, as I said, first understand why you have gone there, and then you will understand that these are useless things, these are futile things. Don't, don't press them for smaller things. Rather, try to accommodate. See, I would not, wouldn't have said this when you are going for a fun or a leisure tourism. Right. but here you have gone there they those guys are serving you in their best capacity with limited resources at such times what i will say ki don't expect too much high about the accommodation facilities and luxuries at the same time don't uh, go to extreme uh, in uh, shouting or fighting with those yeah, right. people over small small thing just be accommodative uh, with them for a while and politely uh, and before that don't blame your tour operator for that this i am not saying because jungle bell also accommodated the our tour operator this i am saying because those guys are sitting in pune and bombay they have sent you there the, the some third person is dealing over there to them understand this situation and then put your demand is what i would say and i had a couple of things that i would like to add and then we end this so in uh, a lot of resorts there are no intercoms there are no uh, television sets uh, frankly telling you that you do not intercoms fine but uh, television sets you do not require really a you are in the forest so you have to enjoy the entire you know surreal uh, and peaceful this thing and then you do not get time so swimming pools and uh, televisions are all luxury but i feel i have been going to forests we just don't get time for anything rather than you know you just move around have a nature trail step outside you know things like that so that is what i want to share one last